Hey guys, so my neighbor gave me this old lawnmower. It was originally gasoline, but I converted it to run on propane because I wanted, I before I've tried in the past to try and run an engine on propane, but the engine I used before, it wouldn't, I think the timing was off or something, it wouldn't run. So I ended up, I looked online and checked out other people's um, designs for running an engine on propane, a lawnmower on propane, and it's actually really simple. I'll show you what I did. The hardest part was actually mounting the propane tank. So what I had to do, this is just an original, I think it's like a three horse Briggs and Stratton lawnmower. So I'll take the breather off, or the air filter. Take the air filter off. And then all I had to do was the original crankcase vent, this plastic, or this rubber hose would connect in there. So I just disconnected it, ran it down, and then you run a propane line into the side of the carburetor. And then you have to make sure your throttle is wide open all the time. And I got rid of the old handle. It had a handle for throttle, or I guess just a, kind of a kill switch. It ran out of here, but I just, there's supposed to be a cable that comes in here and pulls it, but I put a screw in there just to hold it open because I shut my propane off and then the engine will shut off. I don't need to kill the spark. And I'll show you, there's no gas in it. I could have gotten rid of the gas tank, but I left it in there because it ne I need a gas tank to mount the carburetor. So there's no gas in it, bone dry. I even drained out the gas tank before it. And then what I've got for propane here is I use, uh, I think it's 14.1 ounce propane bottle with a propane torch end on it. You could use a 16 ounce bottle if you wanted. And then I, yeah, I got the propane, a torch end. And then I took, there's a, a torch end that usually goes on it. I unscrewed that. And then there's a little flow control. You have to take that out. Otherwise you can't get enough fuel. And then I ran a hose out of that, off the end of the torch. And then you adjust your propane with this valve here, just open it up or close it. And then the hose goes down into the, where the crankcase breather used to be. And to mount the propane tank, I just used a piece of, it's kind of a U-channel aluminum, and I just put some screws in it, because that's all it needed. And then taped the hose on and zip tied the propane tank on so I can easily pull it off and refill it. And I figured it out, I think it's cheaper to run a lawnmower on propane as long as you um, refill the bottles yourself. Because it's about 70 cents a pound if you refill it yourself. If you buy the bottles, it's like five bucks a pound. I'm not sure how long it'll run for because I haven't, haven't used this much. I've got a ride-on lawnmower I used to cut my grass. So I'll put, the, I'll put the air filter back on. And then start up the motor. At first I'll try starting the motor without, um, without the propane turned on so you can see there's no gas in it. And also another advantage to having propane is there's nothing to gum up like carburetor. The fuel will gum up in it and lots of problems. So I'll start it up now. Right now, this is with the propane turned off. Okay, there's a little bit of propane left in the line. See, there's no fuel in the gas tank. Now I'll open the valve about three eighths of a turn. And then you pull it over. And then you can adjust the flow by opening and closing the valve.
engine off, all you do is close the valve and then the engine will stall. So that's it for my video on propane powered lawnmower. Hope you liked it. And if you do try it, I'm not responsible if you hurt yourself. And you gotta be careful because propane is pretty flammable.